In the preceding videos, we did in-depth work with our bow arms, and now we're going to learn um, where we place the left hand. Okay, so I want to point out a few important details before we actually get started with the violin. So for now, just put your violin down, okay, and we're going to assume the posture for the violin hold. So arm out at a 45 degree angle, palm up, elbow in, hand rotates around, notice the straight line from the elbow to the top of the fingers, okay, and again, our wrist is never bent like this, like this, like this, or like this. It's completely completely straight, okay? And now I want you to take a look at the U-shape formed between the thumb and this part of the hand. It looks like a perfect little hook for the neck of the violin to rest in, but it's not. The, we never really hold the violin up with our left hand. We only hold the violin up with our shoulder and the weight of our head, okay? So the left hand always needs to have complete freedom of movement. So the only real point of contact with the violin is our thumb. And obviously, our fingers touch the violin when we play, but as far as just point of contact um, that we maintain at all times, it's just with this part of our thumb, okay? Now, look at the hand again. It's very relaxed. And notice that the first finger, this base joint, is opposite oriented directly across from our thumb. And this point of orientation we will also always maintain. Um, when we're playing. Okay, so now go ahead and get the violin and go ahead and get into play position. Okay, and now with the pad of the thumb, this fleshy part right here, we're going to place on the neck of the instrument about one inch away from the nut. Okay, and you'll notice just the tip of the, of the thumb, you know, peeks over the level of the fingerboard. Okay, and there are slight differences in the levels of thumb placement from player to player. Some, some thumbs are a little higher, some a little further underneath the neck. Some place the thumb closer to the center of the hand. Okay, but the majority of violinists maintain the orientation with the thumb and first finger right across from each other. Okay, and you know, the thumb will make subtle changes in placement depending on the string we're playing on. For instance, when we play on the G string, the hand pivots over the fingerboard a little more and the thumb comes further underneath. And when we play higher on the fingerboard, this is called shifting or playing in higher positions, then the thumb moves to follow the hand. But we're going to be begin our training in first position, so I'm going to put my thumb back about an inch away from the nut. Okay, now let's take a look at the other side of the fingerboard. Okay, the base knuckle of my first finger Okay, is it positioned more or less at the, at the level of the fingerboard? Okay, so this would be a little too low, this would be a little too high. Okay, now in the violin tutorial I mentioned that the arm rotates around so the palm faces over your left shoulder. Another way to think of that is to imagine that this row of knuckles forms a line. Okay, and then that's going to be at a 45 degree angle to the neck of the violin. Okay, now let's bring your attention to your thumb. When we rotate the hand to where the knuckle line is at a 45 degree angle, okay, to the neck, the thumb sort of pivots to where the inside edge now is in contact with the neck of the violin. Okay. The thumb is the anchor of the hand. It keeps the hand oriented so the fingers can go down in the right place consistently, and, and that's its main job. Now its other job is to supply a little bit of counter pressure to the fingers as they strike, okay, and hold the fingers down. But we have to be really careful when we talk about counter pressure with the thumb because we don't want to start squeezing or pinching the neck or we don't want the, st the thumb to become stiff or locked. So the thumb very naturally on its own supplies all the counter pressure needed to be able to play. So we never need to send directives to the thumb to apply pressure. Okay, in fact, you'll need to start practicing the awareness of keeping the thumb relaxed so you don't develop the habit of pinching or squeezing. Okay, now let's place our fingers lightly on the A string. We won't worry about exactly where yet, but just on top for now. Okay, let's look at the shape of our fingers. Okay, the first finger is very squared off. It forms a nice little tabletop. Okay, now lay the second finger down. Again, squared off, kind of a tabletop formation. 
And now the third finger starts to be more arched. It's more gently arched. And then the fourth finger, if you're lucky, will also have a nice gentle arch. Um, but if you have a short pinky like mine, then you really, you have to reach and it's a little more um, lengthened and, and straighter, never locked. But unfortunately I have to kind of reach for my pinky. Okay, um, and now I wanna caution you that sometimes beginning violinists have weak knuckles and when they place their fingers down, the knuckles collapse. Okay, and if this is the case with you, then you need to work on strengthening those knuckles. And so if they collapse, just work on popping them back up. Okay, and you might wanna apply just a little pressure to the fingertips to keep that squared shape with the finger. Again, if they do that, you need to pop them back up and kinda of just do little presses. This will start to strengthen those knuckles. Okay, now do this several times with me. Okay, drop your hand down to your side. Okay, and then bring the thumb up to the side of the neck. Okay, and as you do, make sure you have the proper rotation. Again, noticing how straight the forearm is, that you're not doing this or this. Okay, now this is the posture for the left hand. Okay, and we want to, you want to do this several times, many times throughout the day, so that you can, again, this, this can become automatic. It's something that you won't have to think of in the future, but um, that it starts to feel very natural. Okay, great job.